Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. In the previous episode, we... Ooh. Whoops. In the previous episode, we acquired a nifty little ability. And that is the ability to... Uh, uh, give a shit about this game. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, we managed to uh, get... The Boost Ball. It's... Super nifty. But now, we're on the way back to a uh, previous area of the game. Namely, the uh, first area of this bit of the game. Uh, not Magmore, but uh, we'll get there, we'll get there. Oh boy! Whoa! Okay, that was a little close. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! Stop it! Naughty. Okay, so. I just let that go. Boom. So, what should I talk about? Um, well, I guess I could talk about the rumours I've been spreading recently about uh, a possible new Metroid game. Uh, because um, Alexander Brandon of uh, 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 a composer that uh, does a lot of demo scene stuff. Um, you probably recognise his work from games like Deus Ex, uh, Unreal, Unreal Tournament, whatnot, Jack Jack Rabbit 2. Uh, basically, he now um, he is now working with uh, Retro Studios with something, presumably a new Metroid game. Hopefully Prime 4. Because, uh... I'd sure love that! To be honest though, it, it, it has been long overdue since we last got a uh, Metroid game. Uh, well, a proper Metroid game at least. The last proper one we got was uh, Other M. And, and, and in saying that, I think I may have just triggered a whole bunch of uh, fans of Metroid. <laughs> because, believe it or not, I don't actually think that Other M was that bad. I really don't think it was too... I don't think it was terrible. I think the gameplay was fine, honestly. Not amazing, not the best a series could have. Because I think... Prime 3 really nailed the gameplay side of the series. Um, if you were talking 2D or 2.5D Metroids, which, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, then you're probably talking... Mm, I, 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 I'd, I'd say it... Hmm, I'm not sure, actually. I mean, actually, yeah, I'd probably say Super Metroid kind of... Uh, made the, uh, uh, defined the gameplay side of uh, 2D Metroids. After all, the, uh, it was what every other 2D Metroid since has been based off. Ow! That was, uh, on your head, son! Ah, Jesus! Oh, football! Now, if only I could, uh, yeah, there we go. Ow! What? Oh. Asshole. But yes, um. Now. 
I also don't think other them was that bad. I mean, I can see a few of the complaints at least. I'm, I'm not completely blinded. Um, the story, yeah, there are some tremendous problems there. Like, if you look too deep into it, you're just going to find stuff that is ultimately going to be pretty offensive if you are a uh, a Metroid fan. Although, I can commend it on one thing, and I'll get to that in just a second. For now, though... We have these. Space Jump Boots! Press B to jump. While still in the air, press B again to perform an extra space jump. Boom. But yeah, one thing I will regard uh, Other M highly for is um, that one scene where uh, you fight Ridley. I don't care what anyone says. If you are genuinely going to tell me that someone who has had to deal with some crazy shit in her life and you're telling me that she would not react in the same way that she did in other M. If you're telling me that seeing Ridley alive and well isn't going to trigger something in her if you seriously think that, then what's wrong with you? Sorry that something sorry something feels more emotion than you do. I mean, yes. The game is not very good at giving Samus a semblance of emotion. But it doesn't change the point. In any case... This is something uh, interesting, the Impact Crater. And this looks um, fairly unusual. Where could this be? Pirate data... Cr oh. Real team reports are in on an aged structure of alien design built on the surface of Talon 4. Studies show this structure of projects a containment field. This field bars access to a prime source of energy within a deep crater. Science teams believe the field is powered by a number of strange Chozo artifacts. We have found some on these we found some of these relics and studies have begun on them. Uh, as this field could hinder future energy production operations on Talon 4, we must dismantle it as soon as possible. If this means the destruction of the Chozo artifacts, it will be done. Ah, well, wonderful. Right, come on. Load. There we go. Looks quite interesting. Okay. This is a Chozo artifact. Collect it and then scan the totems here for clues on the locations of the remaining artifacts. Together, the artifacts will open a path to the center of the impact crater. Ooh! That's pretty neat. This is an artifact of truth, the first of twelve. Scan the totems here for clues on the locations of the remaining artifacts. Together, the artifacts will open a path to the center of the impact crater. Right. Artifacts, truth, artifacts acquired. Now, 
this is where the collectathon aspect of the game comes into play. Because you because usually in Metroid games you are expected to collect a number of items. However, in this game, at least, um, it, well, in Metroid games, you are expected to uh, acquire a lot of. Uh, you're expected to acquire a lot of these things. You're expected to acquire twelve of these. I've already got one of them, but. Uh, there are, but like I say, there are 12 of these, we've, uh, that's, that's weird. Right. Sun Chamber, higher top up, ruined home, became the near, can the nest of a great beast. And a source of corruption, many Chosen Spirits have been drawn to this tainted place. Release their bond of, bond to the ward to claim the artifact of what? Right. Okay, let's see, I know where that is. Heat of Magma was a test for many warriors. A shrine in their honour holds the artifact of strength. Right, this doesn't seem to have anything. Mm-hmm. Oh, great hole, okay. Again, nothing. Grove. Mm, not sure I remember that. Right. Uh, Andrana's Edge, okay. I'm trying to remember. I think I know why that is. Um, because there is one area that we haven't initially discovered yet. We won't discover it for quite some time, but it does exist. Now, let's, uh, 13 minutes already, no. um, right, let's see what I can do now. Because what I need is the the grapple hook. Because that'll be uh, tremendously useful. Right, I think uh, we we'll go back to Fendrana. Uh, where do we go? Yeah, there we go. Still not used to this, even though I've played this about half a dozen times. Ow, damn it. Join that music. That's going to change at some point. I don't remember when it changes exactly. Uh, no, no balls. Whoa, okay, there we go.
Do I hear something? Oh, of course I did. That's... No. I'm not kidding when I said that, um... I'm just going off of, uh, Intuition here. Because I can just hear it. Um... For what it's worth, I'm playing this game with my headphones on. I don't usually. Um... Because I'm usually playing it on a TV. I'm playing it on a monitor here because, uh, Easier to play. Really. go this way. There will be absolutely no point in going the other way because uh, I don't have anything that uh, can allow... Oh! Okay. Eat my health up, why don't you? Jesus! Right. You need bugger all? Okay. I see how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah! No, oh, that was a dumb move. God, I love this game's grasp on priorities. Yeah, I certainly want to aim at that thing that I can't really attack because uh, that's how this game works. Yay! Missiles! Okay. Now let's, uh. Make the right decision to wait. Uh, that was a lot. Um, yeah. But yeah, the rumours of, um... Yeah, I went off topic there because other Rem exists. Um... But yeah, um, Alessandra Brandon going to uh, Retro. Um, I do hope that this does signal a Metroid game, because um, I honestly think Alexander Brandon's musical style would work really well with uh, Metroid. Maybe it could be a, a, a collaboration with uh, uh, Kenji Yamamoto. Uh, yeah, I want to go this way, don't I? Actually, isn't there something here? Uh, that's magma shenanigans. Uh huh. Honestly, I don't really care of any of these, to be honest. It's not really why I play these games. I don't usually play them for the lore. I just play them just because of that. Um, I just play them because I like them in terms of gameplay, really. Right. What did I just do? It was like, never remember anything in this game. That is uh, a way to a place. I have no idea where that place may be. But I'm about to find out. Okay, um. I have a feeling this is going to lead to a uh, 
a hidden item or something. Or a door, that works too. Ah! Oh, there we go. Chozo artifacts re acquired. Nice. This is the artifact of strength, the second of twelve. Ooh. Doing well there. Does that damage? Nope, it's just uh, an effect. Oh good, all the guns are back. Um. Ooh, there we go. Shoot these. Get some health back. Okay. Cut it fine there. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should end this episode off here because I, I suspect I don't really have long. Honestly. Um, I'm not ending that, but I think the next bit of this episode is going to be quite quite, uh, going to require quite some time and I'm not confident that I have it. Um, eh, bugger it, we'll do it. Game has been saved. I am trying to remember where. Right. Okay, so. I would have to uh, start jumping about. That seems to be uh, the way to go. Okay. This Cordite statue is weathered, uh, is worn and weathered. Uh, does this work? No, it does not. Looks like I need something else. Well, okay. Oh, you. Ow! Jesus! Okay. Should probably have dealt with them first. Um. Uh, 
uh, did nothing. Seek my twin in this room, okay, let's uh, do that. Rinsta. Ha! This opens the gate. So that's how I may progress. Onwards we go. Ooh, that looks interesting. That did not feel interesting. I'm gonna get this. Ah. Uh, why not? No fun allowed. It's not even like these things are difficult to deal with. Honestly, I had more trouble in my first playthrough with these things because I had no idea how to deal with them. And I don't stop coming, and I don't stop coming. Smash mouth. When did you stop? When did you become a meme? Oh wait, because of your association with Shrek. To be fair though, Smash Mouth's pretty good. Not even kidding. Right. Oh boy! It's a big angry version of one of them. Hold on, hold on. Morphology, Shigoth. A supreme predator of the Fandrana Drifts. Shigoths are invulnerable to most beam weapons. Well, shit. The crystals on their back absorb energy, which they can fire at prey. Shigoths have poor stamina. They hyperventilate after using their breath attack, making them making the mouth area vulnerable. The soft and the belly of the Shigoth is, is susceptible to concussive blasts. In battle, they expel blasts of frigid gas to ensnare their enemies. They are also fond of ramming and trampling their heartless prey. Uh, uh, of course, so the moment I try and do this shit. Come on. Do I need to fire shit at you? I guess I do. There we go. Would be more ideal if we had, uh, sort of upgraded version of the missile. Then we get through them a lot quicker, but uh, we get through this boss fight a lot quicker as well. Balances it out. Come on. I guess I gotta 
do the thing. actually doing anything. Just as I say that, it dies. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, that dropped a bunch of stuff. She got defeated. Interesting that I wasn't even a boss fight. Oh well. At least we get a sick new beam out of it. We get the wave beam. Hold plus, yep, and then point up and release plus two. So, oh god, that's complicated. <laughs> complicated to say because I am kind of tired. Oh, lol. Yes, this uh, this is something that um, uh, uh, Metroid Prime Three Corruption kind of did away with, but. Um, isn't really a problem. Oh, and these things are susceptible to this. The only thing they're susceptible to. There we go. Whoop. Whoop. Um. And they're attracted to it, of course, so uh, be careful with that. Yes, with our newfound weapon of uh, mass dis mass disruption, I think I just found the title for this video. <laughs> okay, right. Weapon mass disruption. I like that. That that, that, that was quick thinking. Overselling myself, to be honest. <laughs> But anyway, um, I think that's it for this episode. Wait, hang on. Did I miss that? What was that just then? Oh, it was just you. Okay, I guess I'll just bite you because of reasons. Oh, it stuns it. Nice. But, oh. Your, cor your corpse is solid. Huh, okay. Ow. Really? Really, my doodle? Anyway. In the next episode of uh, Let's Play Metroid Prime, we will be uh, going back We'll be going further into Fendrana Drifts, investigating something, I don't know, to be honest. I can't remember how this game goes. Uh, I can remember how uh, um, Echoes goes, I can remember how Corruption goes, but I can't remember how this one goes. So, we're all up in the air with this one. Um, anyway, sleep. <laughs>